Well, as Nigerians battle with the COVID-19 pandemic and hardship caused by the lockdown, corporate organizations continue to support the vulnerables by giving out palliatives. An electric metering company, manufacturing company, joins the list of those doing something good. At a time, help is needed the most. Sarah Ayeko reports. Ogun State, southwest Nigeria, has more than 200 cases of coronavirus, maintaining its spot on the chart as the ninth worst heat state in the country, owing to its proximity to the epicenter, Lagos. Although the state is also one of Nigeria's most industrial centers, it accounts for 9.32% of the 82.9 million Nigerians that are poor. For its border communities like this one in Moe, a suburb in the state, there are fears there could be transmission of the COVID-19 at the community level because people live in clusters. This disinfection exercise around the Oribe and Romo community host to an electricity metering manufacturing company hopes to help stem the tide of the infection. Apart from embarking on this exercise and sensitization campaigns on COVID-19, the organization also identified the vulnerable in its host community, a gesture it deems strategic to the well-being of residents at a time like this. This is a time for us, for us to lower self-interest and come together and make more sacrifice. That is why we have come here to wage a war against COVID-19. Our prayer is that um, um, all of this comes to an end in the near future. We are very committed to our corporate social responsibilities in our host community, and that is why we are here. I was almost saying I'm not going to come because it's not real. But what I've seen here today makes it true that it is real with Memcoal uh, Electricity Company. So we appreciate you. The Ori Merrimo community is getting its own benefit in beats from an organization that has spent more than a decade in its domain. A lot of people are less privileged around here. Let us support them during this period. They can't go out to work and children are hungry, people are hungry at home. And so our organization decided to put this out. We are part of the community, and as we grow, the community has to grow with us, and they have to feel our impact around. So whatever is required that is within our means and our reach to do to support the community, we are always there. The items shared to about eight divisions in the community include hand sanitizers, face masks, food items, as well as books and pencils for the children that have been forced to stay at home and study. Sarah Ayeko, TVC News, Mowe.